All right, so this is going to be a short video, and yes, it's about Minecraft. Yes, I am a noob uh, when it comes to Minecraft. I've spent probably about three, maybe less months playing Minecraft, so bear with me. I am, um, I guess, I can confidently say that I'm, a, you know, a huge noob. I, I'm not on the same level of comprehension as Captain Sparkles or Jericho or Mumbo Jumbo and all those other really awesome Minecraft YouTubers that I do watch because I'm a noob, so I have to kind of get familiar with. Uh, all the aspects of Minecraft, but uh, as a funny story, the person that got me into actually spending the 26, I think it was dollars, to buy Minecraft and play it uh, was my girlfriend. She got me into Minecraft, so I, you know, I, you know, ever since that day, I thank her every single day for getting me into Minecraft because it's such an awesome thing. And you know, being with my age, I never thought that I would ever want to play Minecraft because I'm like, isn't this a kid's game? But I'm like, it, it can be so much more than a kid's game. There's so many aspects to it. I mean, yes, it's kind of blocking, cartoony, and all that kind of stuff, but it's not about that. It's just the fact that, you know, like, there's the possibilities are fucking endless in this game. Um, and it's just, like, it's so amazing. Like, I have so much appreciation for Minecraft for what it is, you know, me being able to you know, spend, you know, two, three hours just sitting there and, you know, in creative mode and just building something just to see, like, what I can build, like, kind of test run something and see, okay, uh, you know, this is roughly how much I'm going to need of, th of this particular thing to build this giant thing. So then I have a perspective that if I wanted to build this in survival mode, then I know what I have to do to acquire all that and kind of can kind of estimate how long it would take for me to gather that resource and to build it and you know i can kind of determine how long it would take so creative mode is for that one reason but it's also like creative mode does not restrict me from uh, you know i have no there's no restrictions basically so i can basically go completely to town and build something really really crazy and insane uh and it's, it's amazing. And then, obviously, picking your location is a little bit easier because you can actually pick where you want to build stuff. In survival mode, it's like where you start, you can uh, take a risk of building where you're at or you can proceed somewhere else to go somewhere else. And it really depends on, like, uh, you know, how you go about things. And uh, I think I have mentioned I'm a noob at Minecraft, but... I really love this game. I, I kind of wanted to bring this to my channel to, uh, for really one reason, to build crazy and wild things and then export those maps so that, you know, ultimately once I get up there in subscriber count numbers, you know, like when I get more subscribers so that people can experience my maps and actually see what I built and then, you know, do whatever the hell they want with it. I don't care. Just, you know have fun you know i want to get to that point where i can make maps and i don't i don't yet know how to do that i have to figure out how to do that um but once i get to that point where i built something that i'm truly happy with and i'm proud of i definitely want to do that to allow other people to play it i don't know what it takes to do that um like i said I, i'm a noob when it comes to minecraft um what you're seeing in the actual gameplay of me playing Minecraft is just me um, kind of doing random shit. Uh, I decided I wanted to build something in the desert. I found a location that I kind of, the way it looked, I liked it. So I wanted to build kind of like, I guess you would say like a temple of some sort, basically. Kind of like ancient history kind of stuff. Uh, for whatever reason, it looks cool. Um, and then, you know, kind of build a pyramid on top of that. You know, and then you have like the layer below where you first enter the temple. There's a layer below, and then if you get to the actual pyramid, there's a you know a thing within the pyramid. But I ultimately, my goal is in this particular project that I'm doing is for me to take and build a really huge, and I'm saying huge, like maybe a hundred blocks one way and 100 blocks the other way like like a big square pyramid um using just i i think what i used was uh you know uh sandstone um stairs i think that's what it was called that particular material 
Um, and they, you can you can legitimately, and then obviously you need actual blocks to uh, you know to accomplish it. Unless you really want to have you know do something where there's an internal cavity where you can explore, and that's ultimately also what I want to do. So a big pyramid where you can explore the inside, but make it so big that it's something really spectacular. And that is what I'm going to try to do on this particular project but i also want to do other things as well and you know upload them and kind of you know do a couple videos you know kind of you know the process of me building this and all that kind of stuff and once i get to that point where i feel confident and good with everything and once i figure out how you can actually export these maps for people to play them i don't know i like i said I, i'm a noob so i don't know how to do all that so feel free to comment in the, in the comment section on how to do that if you do know how to do that um and definitely you know do that definitely kind of try to engage with the people that you know like minecraft um and are in my subscriber count you know if any of you like uh, minecraft definitely let me know if anybody else that's new that comes into this channel that likes minecraft definitely you know uh you know try to be cool and like help me out because i am a noob and you know I, I mean i would say please do like you know uh post comments of any sort i <laughs> read and appreciate all of them but I am a noob, so, you know, bear with me, you know, uh, give me a fucking break, you know, because I guess I just, what, I spent, what, three months, three months on Minecraft? That is probably, uh, the, uh, I don't even have even that time played on Minecraft, but, I mean, I would spend maybe an hour a day, uh, maybe, uh, on Minecraft for about three months. So I probably spent, what, I don't know, like, uh, like 150 hours on Minecraft, and that was just me building random shit with cobstone for the most part. Um, and then obviously a lot of it was uh, survival mode. So I was really trying to figure out how to, you know, everything. I was trying to figure out, you know, some small bits and pieces of things. And everything that I had, I had to, like, I, I lost all of it because I had to replace my hard drive. Because my hard drive, my old hard drive was bad in my laptop. So I replaced it so that I can download other games from Steam so that I can you know, have other content, you know, like World War Three and Insurgency Sandstorm. So once I replaced that hard drive, all that shit went away, so I had to start from scratch. So I have to start over with survival mode, which I will be uploading as well. But I wanted to upload something that I am doing as a project in creative mode to see if it is possible and how much time would it take and how much resources would it take in survival mode for me to do this if I could eventually travel to find a spot to do this in. Because, it, you know, like me making a giant pyramid, basically, uh, that would probably take a shitload of, uh, as of right now, it, it's gonna be a lot of sand, unless you're in an area that has a lot of sand. And preferably to be in an area that has a lot of sand, that would probably be your best bet. At least going off of just, uh, you know, being in creative mode, preferably finding a nice sandy area. But anywho, um, I'm The Mitten. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. I strongly, strongly encourage people to leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Regardless if it's positive or negative, it's all feedback and it's all always appreciated. Um, and if you want to go as far as subscribing, if you're you know just viewing this video, consider subscribing, hitting that bell uh, to get notified every time I upload if you do like my content. And that's all I got to say. Wow, that still is over eight minutes. I talk way too fucking much. Just kidding. Peace, the mitten out.